Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> I haven't done one of these in a while because honestly, there really hasn't been a lot for me to talk about. I'm um, kind of tired of complaining about the Reds all the time. Uh, anyway, today I wanted to kind of give a recap uh, and give some of my thoughts on the Bengals beating the Colts 34 to 23 on Sunday. Uh, first off, major kudos to Andy Dalton. He really displayed excellent leadership skills and to bring his team back against a red hot Andrew Luck and the Colts on the road down double digits. Kudos to him, you know, especially after his tough start where he let off the game with an interception. Um, anyway, really good win for the team overall. Uh, there was definitely some controversy though. Um, very questionable penalty on Carlos Dunlap. Uh, I, I was watching the game with no audio, so I'm not really sure what they saw. I, I guess they they said he drove the quarterback into the ground. Um, the penalty for the rule was applied correctly. I, I just don't really like the rule, though. And then Marcus Hunt uh, kind of did the same thing. The adult, and I think he grabbed his face mask and no call on that. So, And, and to be honest, the Colts kind of got screwed over with some calls as well. So pretty bad officiating in the game. Uh, to me, some of the highlights really, uh, like I mentioned, Andy Dolan played extremely well. Uh, showed a lot of poise. Uh, really rebounded from that early mistake. Uh, Joe Mixon looked explosive. Um, and if they can get him going uh, and get him right, I mean, he could be such a huge key for this team. Uh, A.J. Green had a long touchdown catch. Did have a couple fumbles, though, so that's something he'll need to clean up. Uh, nice, to see, nice to see John Ross get on the board with his uh, first career touchdown. And... Overall, pretty pleased with what I saw. Um, to be honest, for much of the game, Andrew Luck was having his way with the Bengals' defense down the middle of the field. I mean, he is definitely back. And he did whatever he wanted to back there. It wasn't until late when we finally started to get a pass rush uh, that we were able to do something against him because he just sat back there in the first half and just did whatever he wanted. He had the middle of the field all day. And I mean, he's a he's a hell of a quarterback, and it's good for the league to have guys like you know young quarterbacks like him. He's still fairly young, but yeah, uh, good for the league and good for the Colts to have him back. Um, I think Colts fans have a lot to be excited as they have their franchise guy back. But anyway, uh, I I guess re related to Luck still on that same su subject, he led them to a late drive down the field. I was honestly worried at that point that they were going to pull off the win, but. Fumble recovery for a touchdown sealed the deal. Uh, so anyway, once again, final score is 34-23. Uh, Bengals have a quick bounce back. They get back to work on Thursday to play the Ravens, who I believe beat the Buffalo Bills 47-3. So uh, they do have a bit of a challenge, and especially given the fact that it's in prime time, never good for the Bengals. Anyway, um, I look forward to doing more of these recaps as the season goes on. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.